But where are we going? DC! And we're so early. Why? Because we have like over an hour before our flight takes off and we're already through security. I took a nap. Hmm. This is like a new venture for me, vlogging. <laughs> so you can all bear with me. We're waiting to board our flight to DC. Ah! I forgot to check us in until like less than 12 hours before our flight. So Daniel and I might not be sitting together because we're like the last leg of borders flying the Southwest. DC, we're coming for you. Nashville, we're coming for you first for like an hour. <laughs> We made it to DC. We just checked into our hotel room. We are staying like downtown. We're right in Chinatown. I've never been to a hotel like this before and it's giving me a little bit of claustrophobia, but like I'm gonna try it. It's called Pod. Let's flip this around. Maybe hey, say hi. It's, <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> Just, it's like literally a little pod. It's got good windows. Luckily the bathroom isn't too tiny. If you haven't already figured it out, I'm going to be vlogging um, a little bit of my DC trip. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should be, but if you do, you know that um, I am out here working with Women to Women Naturals. We have a convention going on this weekend and I am going um, over on Saturday for a few hours. So um, you'll be seeing this after the fact. Daniel and I have never been to Washington DC. We love to travel. We're super excited about being here. So we booked a few days um, ahead of the convention and behind. So I'm just going to like bring you along a little bit on our trip and I guess, you know, hey, like welcome back. And if it's your first time here, my name is Janelle and we do all things curly and then some. If you haven't already, go slam that subscribe button, hit that bell while you're at it, turn on those post notifications so that you do not miss a thing and come along. Washington Monument yeah. and the reflective pond and we're reflecting on our day. Not really, I just posted to Instagram. So deep. <laughs> so we, what have we done today? We went through, what was the first museum? American history. The American history and then we did the African American Museum and one of the things I think I was probably the most shocked about is just how much of that like was not taught. Um, in any of my schooling really. I mean like very briefly covered. It's just surprising like how many details and how many of these like really big milestones um, weren't taught at all. A lot of the museums here are not only are they free but they just have like open like walk-in time. So we just assumed that was the case with all of them. When we got to the African American Museum it had a huge line and we were kind of confused so we go and look and they were like oh this is a standby line. So of course I get on the website and it says, yeah, like they actually only allow so many tickets per hour um, and that their only walk-in time is at 1 p.m. and they've let a like set amount of tickets out. So we got in line and we just thought, whatever, we'll, we'll try it. And luckily, I think everyone in line, it was a huge line, got tickets. Because there are some ladies in front of us that, that mentioned how much the vibe changed um, as soon as everyone got tickets. We spent about five hours in there. Um, and then we went to, what was it called again? Founders Market. Founders Market, um, which is everything is like farm to table and they make everything handmade, including their sodas. And they actually had this vegan dish that was excellent. It's probably the best vegan dish I have had since um, becoming vegan. We're gonna hit the Martin Luther King Memorial next. What else are we gonna do today? <laughs> showered I am he is not <laughs> I'm going to do my wash and go routine um, if you haven't seen that I'll link that up here um, I'm pretty much following that exact I might make a little bit of adjustments I might use a t-shirt today um, just to dry a little bit quicker because I'm in humidity and <laughs> yesterday I refreshed and it took my hair like four hours to get completely dry, even with just getting it like mostly damp. Um, so I use their travel size um, gorgeous collection hair cleanser. 
and then I also used the travel conditioner and then I brought the leave-in and I love this leave-in and um, I apply it in the shower just like I do on my wash wash day tutorial um, kind of using the squish to condition method and then right now I don't have any stylers in my hair um, I'm just letting it air dry a bit before I apply products on and this actually helps in humidity if you can do damp styling um, because gels tend to prevent the hair from drying as quickly like gels a lot of stylers actually so um, just having the leave in my hair is more likely to dry a little bit quicker um, so I'm gonna do this get it a little bit more dry and then I'll apply my stylers just as usual um, and hopefully <laughs> I have like I, they gave me a little bit sooner call time today than what I was originally told so let's let's hope I'll be ready but let's hope my hair is actually dry by then so fingers crossed Yay! I have been air drying for two hours. I got out of my shower about 7.30. I air dried for a bit. I applied my stylers about 20 minutes ago. My hair is still so wet. Um, I'm probably going to be using a little bit of heat today because I have to leave in about an hour. The only thing that I did is once differently is that once the stylers were on, I did use this t-shirt that I'm wearing <laughs> to scrunch out a little bit of the water, but at that point, like most of the soaking water was out of my hair, so that's what it is. So fingers crossed for diffusing. <laughs> and heat does the trick. My hair is most of the way dry, yay! It only took about a half hour. <laughs> Um, I have my root clips in. If you don't know, now you know I do dry root clipping. I add them once my hair is completely dry to allow my roots to set up. So we are mostly dry, definitely still damp, but we're, we're rolling with it. But look at how curly my hair is. My hair always gets so much curlier in humidity. I need to move to where there is moisture in the air. It definitely is a factor in how your curls perform. And mine are looking bomb.com. All right, we're heading to the convention. We were so tired yesterday after the event. We went and um, got food and then pretty much just walked home and came and like went right to bed. We were both exhausted. And Daniel's like dying for breakfast right now. I've made him wait. I changed outfits, just my shirt at least. And I put on some face makeup. Daniel doesn't like waiting. Why? I'm hungry. But don't, don't you think I'm worth it? I think I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, bye. One of the downsides of being vegan is like trying to find, it's like vegan-ish, I guess we should say, um, but trying to find nails everywhere. But we're down at this wharf in DC and it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, not only is the weather out here wonderful, but there's a ton of like really nice restaurant shops. Now we're on a hunt to find Daniel a hat because we didn't bring one of his and should have because he's got a cute little bald head that gets sunburned easy. <laughs> we still haven't found Daniel a hat, but we, what we did do is get in the lift and come over to Alexandria. We're pretty excited. We're gonna find this Spite House. Always down for a little bit of pettiness. <laughs> Daniel got a hat. Found it in H&M. He's welcome. I said we should go in there. 
he doesn't know what he would do without me. We're going to the Spite House now. Now that we found the hat, we're ready to go, and we're gonna go see some pettiness. And we made it to the Spite House. What I read is that the like owner in the 1800s was sick of people walking down his alley, so he was a prick and built a house. You're almost as tall as the width of the home. <laughs> So as I've told you in the past, I'm like a very like medium vlogger and maybe even borderline bad. Um, Daniel and I are home. <laughs> we uh, left DC around like 4 p.m. We went to the museum. We absolutely loved the museum. <laughs> we look creepy. Ooh. So um, creepy. Yeah, we got recommendations from everyone on Instagram and all of our Lyft drivers to go to the museum. We absolutely loved it. It was completely worth it. Spent the last few hours we had there. Um, and then we just pretty much went back to the hotel, grabbed our bags and went to the airport. So um, we had a stop in Milwaukee and now we are home and standing out in the dark because we want to surprise our puppy and get a reaction. So I'm gonna flip you around so you can see that. Easy. Cici. Cici. Ah! Cici. Cici. Hi Kakira! Hi Kakira! Oh we miss you, Cici! Hi! Hi! We miss you so much! <laughs> Hi Chloe! Hi! Hi my mouse! Hi, fat boy. Hi. Cici. Oh, are you so excited? You're such a sighted girl. You're such a sighted girl. Okay. Yay. So there you have it. I am exhausted, so I'm gonna go cuddle with my kitties and my puppy and go to bed. Um, thank you so much for coming with us to DC. Um, really had an absolute blast and really excited to be doing what I'm doing <laughs> um, and being able to travel a little bit with it. So um, this has been a kind of a milestone trip and it was really fun to bring you all with me. So let me know in the comments, is this something that you wanna see more, you wanna see as we travel, all that fun stuff, let me know. Um, again, thank you for joining me. If it was your first time here, my name is Janelle. We do all things curly and then some. And if you have not already hit that subscribe button, what are you waiting for? Go slam it, hit that bell while you're at it, turn on those post notifications so that you do not miss a thing. And I will see you next time. Bye.